as young Muslims, we have had to either choose between having a secular education or an Islamic education. But my question here this morning is, why must a Muslim child be forced to choose one when we can have both? As Ghanaians, working in the public sector, contributing to the tax net, when our taxes are used in, in, in government institutions where the funding comes from government and things are done to improve these schools, why must the Muslim child feel like they are being done a favor to access that type of education? And when you push the button, you are told, develop your own schools. Are you giving us our taxes back to develop our own schools? When the AMA goes round, does he take taxes from Muslims? Those are the questions we should ask ourselves. If everything goes into one tax net or one tax basket, then we all need to have equal share. And we all talk about the issues. In your introduction, you made mention of, yes, there's a certain tag about the Zongo being, um, when it comes to politics and being violent and all of that. We all know that there are certain basic needs of humans. And sometimes when those needs are not met, there is anguish. Our youth do not have jobs. But they don't even have, sometimes they don't even have the qualification to assess those jobs that are available. Looking at the condition of Zongo today, it is so because some parents, some grandparents, some time back, thought that if I would take you to school and you would stop being a Muslim, then let me keep you home and just give you Islamic education. So that even if you, use, you lose your dunya, you don't lose the akhirah, which is the hereafter, and that is everlasting. It is not our duty to question the reason behind those decisions. But as we are here today, what is the way forward? The way forward is to see that there is a gap because most of our parents and our grandparents ended up in the bottom for security jobs and menial jobs. And clearly, we all know that in Ghana, if you're doing menial jobs, you cannot afford. So some of the children who are at home today is because they have not had the opportunity financially to go to school. If, if political parties want to support the Zongo today, the biggest driver, the leverage for us is education. And if we go in there, inshallah, I believe it would be a starting point for many greater things to come. Thank you. Thank you very much.